Why, hello there! Today, I'm going to be showing you a real-life example of bubble sort. This is part one of three in my mini tutorial, Let's Learn Simple Sorts, which is part of my series for Let's Learn Data Structures. We're going to ignore the bottom three rows. I'm going to use these later in other simple sort videos. Let's just look at the first row of items in my character's inventory. The items are currently in a pseudo-random order. For convenience, the blank rows below represent temporary variable slots. So the algorithm is simple enough. We have an outer loop that represents the number of items in the array, and we start at 1, which corresponds to how many times we've gone through our row of items. Then we move to our inner loop, which we will call our comparisons. While within the comparisons, aka inner loop, we will see if the item on the left is larger than the item on the right. If so, we swap. Once we've gone through comparing the first item against all the others, all the way to the end of the row, we start over at the far left of the row, which will then increment our outer loop to 2, because this will be our second time going through our row. Then we begin our series of comparisons again. So, starting our outer loop at 1, we compare, which now means we're at our inner loop, if 85 is larger than 17 which it is. So we swap them. To do this, we move the 17 into a temporary spot. The 85 then moves to where 17 was, and then 17 moves to where the 85 was. We continue comparing the left and right until we reach the end. So, 85 is larger than 4? Yes. 85 and 2? Yes. 85 and 45? Yes. 85 and 32? Yes. 85 and 20? And finally, 85 and 10. Okay, now we're at outer loop equals 2 since we're going through our row for the second time. Now we start with our inner loop, comparing again so let's finish this out. 17 and 4? Yes. 17 and 2? 17 and 45? We do not swap, since 17 is less than 45. Is 45 larger than 32? Yes. 45 and 20? 45 and 10? And 45 is less than 85, so no swaps occur. Now we start over again. Is 4 greater than 2? Yes. Is 4 greater than 17? No. Is 17 greater than 32? No. Is 32 greater than 20? Yes. Start over again. Okay, now, while you and I know that we're done, the algorithm does not. So we go through just one more time to verify that no swaps have occurred. Technically, we should have gone through another two times, since we loop the number of items in our container. But like I said about verifying no swaps have occurred, you can use a flag to exit the loop early and finish the algorithm. This means that our bubble sort is technically done, and so is this tutorial. I hope this helped any one of you.